hello hello happy friday and welcome to my channel i'm kat i'm the nurse flipper i am a full-time reseller and this is a research video so these are not my sales but i wanted to show you what ugly christmas sweaters can sell for they are at thrift stores they are at garage sales they are cheap and i'm going to show you some that sold for 60 dollars all the way up to 200 and you can find these really cheap 50 cent a dollar sometimes really good profit margins and now is the time now is the time to find and list them so let's take a look All right, so again, these are not my items. I will tell you what they sold for. I will tell you if they were auction or buy it now. And I hope you can find some. I hope you can find some. I hope you start looking for them. One of my good friends found one and sold it for, I believe, $50 the next day. And that's a great margin if you spend four or five bucks, still 10 times your money. So this first one is actually a rainbow bright sweater. This is a Hallmark Rainbow Bright Sweater 3X Adult. They do put Halloween as well as Ugly Christmas Sweater. This was new. It sold for $59.99 on a Buy It Now. And that is a great sale. So watch for those Christmas with other characters. And here you can see it up close. This is a great sale at almost $60. Up next is Middle of Beyond is the name of the brand, but I want to point out with most of these, I don't think the brand is what sold the actual sweater. I think it is more about keywording it right, finding stuff that pops that you are able to describe well. So let's take a look at this next one. This is a MOB Middle of Beyond Bad Santa ugly Christmas sweater size XL. It sold by it now for $65. This is the tag. So you know what to look for. It says mob and middle of beyond. And again, great sale at $65. All right. So if you're wondering how I found all of these, I searched ugly Christmas sweater. So that is definitely a keyword that you will want to put in. This next one is an ugly Santa and stripper. Beware, Naked Barbie. So somebody put this sweater together. This is a North Pole with LED lights, XXL. It sold for $69.99. Here you can see this really is kind of a craft project with dollar bills, a Barbie on a candy cane, and they just added some garland. So, you know, maybe you want to get creative because it looks like creative sells. I feel really, really, it really is an ugly sweater. Some of these, I don't feel like they're ugly. People just use it for the keyword, but this next one I think is ugly. Tell me what you think. This is a ugly Christmas sweater, tacky pink pony and skulls, garland and lights, women's extra large. It sold for $69.99. Look at, this is another one they like, looks like they glued some garlands, some beads, and a My Little Pony, and this definitely is an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> they put ugly Christmas sweater. I don't think it's that ugly, but it's a sweater with Fender. So I say this all the time. If you see a brand you know, Fender guitars, Fender amps, on a sweater, it, it very well might sell just like this one did. This is a Fender Ugly Holiday sweater for 20 21 acrylic knit it sold for $59.99 this one I I don't find this that ugly I think it's a pretty cool sweater and that was a great sale at $59.99 all right this next one is a blue ribbon brand this is a Pabst blue ribbon ugly Christmas sweater large red pullover knit fair isle they did put holiday this one sold for 74 dollars and 96 cents and here up close you can see the tag and it is a large and this sweater sold for almost 75 dollars okay the next one i don't feel like it's very christmasy but again if you think someone might wear it as a christmas sweater and it might be considered ugly put those keywords in 
This is a Ramstein knitted holiday Christmas sweater 2020 ugly sweater. This was a men's small. So this one is a smaller size. It's still sold for $67.95. And again, I don't feel this one super Christmassy. Here on the tag, you can see it does say Ramstein and a great sale at almost $68. All right, the next one, I feel I feel like it's a cute sweater. Maybe I just like ugly Christmas sweaters. This is a Canadian Club Jumper Limited Edition Red Ugly Sweater, size XL, sold for $62.83. On the tag, you can see it does say Canadian Club Large Extra Large and a great sale at $62. All right, the next one is a Metallica sweater. I personally have never seen a Metallica sweater until I did this video. This is a Metallica Christmas sweater, heavy metal logo, ugly Christmas skulls and crosses, size extra large. It's sold by it now for $69.95. And the tag is actually a Metallica brand. This one was from 2017 and a great sale at almost $70. This next one is definitely ugly. It's definitely ugly. It is the green giant on a sweater. This is a green giant, more corn casserole, please. Ugly Christmas sweater, size large, and it's pea green. It's a pea green sweater. Sold by it now for $80. On the back, you can see it has the green giant corn cans. And yeah, I, I don't know, really know what to say about this one, but that's a good sale at $80. Okay, there's the next one. I guess it's kind of ugly, but I think it's more like vintage retro look. Tell, tell me what you think. This is a vintage Nutcracker ugly Christmas sweater, incredible winter village, plus size 1X, sold for $89.99. On the tag, you can see it does say Nutcracker plus size that is the actual brand and that was a great sale at right under $90. The next one I don't think it's ugly it's a little bit busy it's a little busy but I don't think it's ugly. This is a crazy cardigan over the top ugly Christmas sweater holy grail men's XXL sold for $78 buy it now you can see this I think this is cute I think it's cute I don't know if I would wear it, but I think it's cute and a great sale at almost $80. Up next is a Fargo sweater. This is a Mondo Fargo FX ugly Christmas sweater. They did put great condition. This was a buy it now sold for $99.99. And on the tag, you can see it does say Fargo Mondo and that sweater sold for almost $100. Okay, the next one I think is ugly, but I think it's cute at the same time. I, it's possible, I guess, because that's what I think about it. This is a ugly Christmas sweater with flamingo and lights. This was a buy it now, sold for $119. You can see here, it was a regular sweater, and I think, again, another craft project. They put a pink boa around the bottom and some Christmas lights, and on the tag, you can see it does say Lauren Brook. Now, at $119, I don't think the sweater without all those embellishments would have sold that high, but add some lights and a pink boa and you have yourself a $120 sale. All right, up next, I feel is almost like a classic Christmas sweater. I guess it could be considered ugly. This is an ugly Christmas sweater winner. XXL 2X women's front and back embellished vintage. This one sold by it now for $127.60. You can see the sled and the reindeer on the front and then on the back Santa is going down the sled and here is the tag that says studio ho 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 and 2X. And that was a great sale at almost $130. All right, up next is a pretty plain one. Red sweater has a wreath, sold for $120. This is a red ugly Christmas sweater. Sequins, beads, red, size large. 
and it was a buy it now for the $120. Here you can see it, the adornments up close. Again, I don't feel like this one's really over the top, but that was a great sale at $120. All right, this next one reminds me of Kooji. If you do not know Kooji, C-O-O-G-I, look it up because those sweaters are valuable. This next one's a Croft and Barrow, but the pattern really reminds me of a Kooji. This is a vintage 3D print, abstract textured, Croft and Barrow, ugly sweater. This is from the 80s and no or 90s, sold for $122.49. Here on the sweater, you can see the lines kind of abstract and geometric in there. And the tag shows Croft and Barrow size large and a great sale at $122. Up next is a ugly golf Christmas sweater. This is a Vintage Crossing size XL men's made in the USA golf sweater sold for $125. Buy it now. And on the tag, you can see it does say Crossings, extra large. This one was made in the USA, and that is a great sale at $125. Up next is actually not an ugly Christmas sweater, but it came up in my search. I have found some pretty similar to this, and I wanted to show you. It is an ugly Halloween sweater. This is a vintage 90s ugly Halloween sweater, cardigan, ghost, pumpkin, scarecrow, cat, and candy. They have all the keywords in there. This was a buy it now for $129.99. Here is a tag. It says Queenie and Weenie. That was a great sale at almost $130. <clears throat> Up next is something I remember watching all the time, and that is PBS. It is a PBS sweater. This is I Love PBS Ugly Christmas Knit Sweater, blue, white, orange TV. I don't know about you, but I can see Mr. Rogers wearing this sweater. This was a great sale. Buy it now at $125.95. On the tag, there's actually no brand. It just says Made in the USA Large. And that was a great sale at almost $126. All right, up next is another cute, ugly Christmas sweater with the abominable, abomin abominable, that's hard to say, abominable snowman. This is ugly Christmas sweater, Harry Yeti, abominable snowman, lights up, plus size, 2X. It, it was new. This was a buy it now for $129. And you can see up close, this one actually, I believe, was made this way. I don't think they added this stuff on. And a great sale at $129. All right, we are up to our top five ugly Christmas sweaters. These prices are crazy. And thus far, none of these have been auctions. These are actually all been buy it now. So if you get ugly Christmas sweaters, I would not auction them. This is a Coca-Cola Michael Simon limited edition 1999 Christmas ugly sweater. It is a medium. They did put rare. It sold for $149.99. On the tag, you can see it clearly says everything they put in that description. Coca-Cola by Michael Simon limited edition and 1999. That was a great sale at almost $150. Beware, because the next one is a little graphic. It's it's a little worse than the Naked Barbie. It is a porn hub sweater, and it's sold for great money. People like adult humor. Keep that in mind when you're looking at t-shirts, sweaters, all kinds of stuff. Adult humor sells. This is a porn hub sweater, ugly Christmas sweater, naughty sweatshirt this one sold for a hundred and fifty dollars and if you look up close there there's some additions to the snowman and here's the tag saying Pornhub made in china size medium and a great sale on a sweater at a hundred and fifty dollars up next is a whiskey a whiskey sweater sold for great money this is a whistle pig ugly sweater 
This one sold for $150. It is Whistle Pig Whiskey. You can see the pig inside of the wreath there. And a great sale at $150. Up next is a Foo Fighters sweater that sold for almost $200. This is a Foo Fighters ugly Christmas sweater, sweatshirt, men's large green, sold for $195. And here you can see it is actually, this is a sweatshirt. This is not a sweater, but they did put sweater in the description because the Foo Fighters, the gingerbread man, it looks like sweater. So it's almost a faux sweater on a sweatshirt, and that was a great sale at $195. Up next is a brand I have never heard of, and that is Dutch Brothers, and this is the highest selling ugly Christmas sweater. This is a retired large Dutch Brothers coffee Christmas reindeer sweater. They did put Christmas party. It sold for $199. Buy it now. And here on the tag, you can see it says Dutch Bros. Merry Christmas. That is an amazing sale at almost $200. All right. That is everything. I hope you enjoyed. No super high prices. All buy it now. And you can find these things cheap. You can find them cheap. Go out there. Now is the time to list them. People are starting to look for what they'll wear to their Christmas party. If you have some in your inventory, get them listed. If you came by my whatnot sale earlier, just a couple of hours ago, thank you so much for coming by. I, last night, was so excited. I got in a jewelry haul that is absolutely amazing tons of real turquoise stones tons of amethyst just an amazing amazing collection i did sell some of it in the show i just had the rest is going to be on whatnot on thursday night at 9 p.m eastern standard time i am gonna see i know a lot of you work during the day so i want to try an evening show see if that goes a little better let me know too if you guys have been coming to my whatnot shows if you're able to come to the ones i do during the day at like 11 eastern in the morning or if you would prefer me to do it at night. So the big thing is I need to do it around Dalton's schedule. So I either need to do it while he's in school or after he's gone to bed. I can do some while he's awake, but I don't want to take away a ton of time from him. So I really appreciate all of you that bought from my auction today and come and see me. There is just so much amazing jewelry that I just got in and a lot of the pieces are worth hundreds of dollars and I'm going to be starting them all at $10. So if you're a reseller looking for high dollar items, my whatnot sale on Thursday might be the place to get some. And yeah, starting them at 10 bucks. There are comps for two, three, four hundred dollars on some of them. And I'm just going to start them at 10. So you definitely need to come Thursday night, 9 p.m. Go follow me on whatnot. I'll put the link in the description below. You can click follow and you can bookmark my show. That way you don't miss it. Don't miss the show because there are a lot of resale opportunities in it and there the designer that i have a lot of necklaces from is jay king if you want to do a search of jay king necklaces see what they sell for they sell for a lot i will be trying to catalog probably on tuesday or wednesday so you can do some research and kind of know what you want to pay me if i have something that sells for three to four hundred i'm okay paying 150 or so because i still make 150 dollars profit so talked enough Thank you for watching. I hope you have an absolutely amazing, amazing weekend. Don't forget tomorrow I will be putting out another thrifting video. I found some great stuff. Great stuff. There will be a thrift box available for you to buy. That will be over on my cat's treasure hunting YouTube channel. So if you're not following that, go follow it. I, again, appreciate you spending so much time with me. Hit the thumbs up. Share with your friends if you think they'd like it, and I will see you on the next one.